energy friends this is going to be our first video music lesson and we've got some cool stuff that we're going to do you do not need any materials right now it's just going to kind of be a come hang out with me and follow along so we're going to go ahead and get started so i hope everybody is doing okay and you guys had a nice restful spring break i know i slept in a whole bunch so I hope you guys had some time to do that as well. I'm gonna go check something real quick. Okay, now we're back at it. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is we're gonna do some jungle rhythms. So just as a reminder, we are gonna be using our, these notes, our toms and triple T's, or our TTT's, toms and TTT's. All right, so I'm gonna play it. I'll play it again. And then we'll talk about what I just played. Okay, you guys ready to try? All right, here we go, jungle rhythm number one. Okay, we'll try again. What do you think it is? What do you think it starts with? Tom? Let's try it all together, ready? Tom, T T T T T T Tom. Got it, nice job. Okay, now here's the next one. Let's see one more time. What does it start with? T T T? Here we go. Here's another one. I'll play it again. Got it? Here we go. Let's do it together. Tom, Tom, tick, 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 Tom. Thanks. Okay. Let's do one more jungle rhythm. Ready? Got it? Let's do it together. Ready? Nice, nice, nice. Alrighty, let's break out those flashcards that we have. We'll take out the easy ones because we know how to do those, right? Perfect. Okay, so here we are. So if you, this is a very good opportunity to teach your parents or your siblings or your grandparents or your friends what all these notes are. So when we see this guy right here, what do we call him? We call him Tom. This is Tom. When we see this cluster of notes right here, what do we call him? T, T, T. Three T, T's. Or three T's. T, T, T. So we got Tom and T, T, T. All right. You ready to do some rhythms? Here we go. Ready? One. Here we go. Tom, T T T T T T Tom. Ready? <gasps> T T T Tom Tom Tom. Tom, Tom, T, 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 Tom. T, 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 Tom, Tom, T, T, T. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Ready? Tom, Tom. Tom, T, T, T. All right, here we go. Ready? <gasps> nice. T, 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 Tom. T, 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 T. Ready? 
ready? Here's a little bit. Instead of speaking the rhythms, we are going to assign each note a clap or a pat. So we will assign our tom a pat on the legs. Okay? And then we'll assign our TTTs a clap. So we'll pat the toms and clap the TTTs. Okay? So I'm going to stick this back here. I think you can see it. I hope you can. Just in case you forget, ready, clapping, and patting. Starting off with a what? A tom, and what does tom do? Tom pats. Here we go, ready? One, two, here we go. Pat, pat, clap, 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 clap. Nice. Here we go. Starts off with... Go, ready? <gasps> pat. Clap, 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 pat, pat. <gasps> pat. Clap, 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 pat. Clap, clap, clap. Nice, nice, nice. All right, here we go. some warm-ups. We're going to use our ribbon to do some ribbon warm-ups. It'll be just like how we do it in class. I will demonstrate it and then I'll give you your own to do for yourself. Okay, let's scooch back a little bit. <laughs> All right, here we go. Woo! Woo! Your turn. something like this. So I'll read a line and then you will make your wine and I'll read a line and you make your wine. So it goes like this. I thought I heard a puppy whine. <laughs> Maybe it was in my mind. <laughs> like that. Okay, you ready to start? All right, my little whiny puppies. Here we go. I thought I heard a puppy whine. Maybe it was in my mind. Then again, it might be swine. I'm not sure 
sounds canine. Yes, I'm quite sure this time. That I heard a puppy whine. And I think I see a sign that my ears are working fine. Dad says she's my valentine. And her name is Adeline. See my face begin to shine. I think she is super fine. Nice job, my whiny little puppies. Okay, so now we've got some singing to do. We got the littlest worm. It's an echo song. We've done it before. Here we go. Ready? The littlest worm I ever saw was stuck inside my soda straw. The littlest worm I ever saw. He said to me, don't take a sip, cause if you do, you'll really flip. He said to me, don't take a sip, cause if you do, you'll really flip. I took a sip, and he went down, right through my pipes. He must have drowned. I took a sip and he went down. Right through my pipes, he must have drowned. And now he's gone. And that's the end. He was my pal. He was my friend. Now that's the end and he's all gone. He was my pal. He was my friend. Oh, the littlest worm. Man, oh man. So what happened? The littlest worm you ever saw was stuck where? Inside a soda straw. Then what happened? The littlest worm said, don't take a sip. But what did he do? And he went down. He must have drowned. And now he has no worm friend. But it's okay to eat worms though, right? Maybe. Have you ever eaten a worm before? Don't encourage. That's not your homework. Don't eat worms. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So now we are going to move on to a poem. It is called Chop, Chop, Chippity Chop. So I'm going to speak the poem for you guys first so you guys can get it into your brains so you know what you're getting into. Here it goes. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Just like that. So now let's do some echoing. Me first and then you. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. We'll do it one more time. Me first. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Nice. Okay, so now let's try to do the whole thing all together. Put it all together. Ready? One, two, here we go. Chop, chop. Chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Nice. So now let's add some beat. The beat, right? Does the beat speed up or slow down? No, it stays the same. It's what keeps everybody in going at the same time. So keep this rhythm. You can pat your legs. Join in whenever you're ready. We're going to speak the poem and pat. Our legs ready. Here we 
go. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Nice. Now, let's try it a little slow. Whenever you're ready. Here we go. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. If you guys can do that, I think you can do it a little bit faster. Join in on your padding whenever you're ready. Here we go, and chop, chop, chippity chop, cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot, chop, chop, chippity chop. Did you get it? Awesome. All right, guys, so now this poem also has some actions that we are going to add into it. The actions also help us feel the beat. So here's the first one. You can just echo it after me. Okay, I'll do it, and then you can do it. Chop, chop, chippity chop. You try it. The next part just goes back up. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. Try it. Perfect. So now let's go from the beginning. Okay, the part we just did. Ready? <gasps> chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. Perfect. Now, this is the next part goes. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. So it's like you're scooping it up and putting it back. So let's try that. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Let's do it again. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. The last part, just like the beginning. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Okay, let's try to put it all together now. Get your chop ready. Ready? <gasps> chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to go back and forth between speaking the poem and then hearing the poem in our head. So our first way that we're going to do this is the only words we're going to say is the chop, chop, chippity chop. The rest of the poem, we're just going to think in our heads while we do the actions. Okay, you ready to give it a try? Let's do it. So we're only doing chop, chop, chippity chop. That's all we say. Here we go. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Did you get it? Let's try it one more time. Ready? <gasps> chop, chop, chippity chop. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Was that better this time? Awesome. All right, so now let's do the what there is left, we'll put in the pot. That's the only thing we're going to be saying. Okay, so you're going to start by singing in your head. And then once we get to the what there is left, we'll put in the pot. That's what you'll say. Okay, ready? Get your choppers ready. Do you speak the first part? Here we go. <gasps> what there is left, we'll put in the pot. Awesome, let's do it one more time, really get it into our brains. Here we go, ready? <sighs> what there is left, we'll put in the pot. Awesome, awesome, nice job, you guys. All right, so for the last thing that I would like to do with you guys today is I have this really cool um, first science sound and hearing book that I want to read to you guys. It has um, hearing facts, what makes sound, how do ears work, hearing history, important words, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's pooch for it a little bit. Hearing the facts. Sound and hearing are a big part of everyday life. It is easy to see sound and hearing in action. Just look around. People use sound and hearing to listen to music. Sound and hearing to help people play instruments, such as the flute and the drums. And sound and hearing help people use the telephone to communicate. So sound and hearing isn't just music. Sound isn't just music. Sound can be anything. Sound can be your dog barking, a car horn honking, 
you know, the sound it makes when you drop your cup on the ground. What makes sound? Sounds are created by the movement of objects. This movement is called vibration. When a person hits a drum, the drum vibrates. Most sound vibrations are very small movements. Usually people can't see sound vibrations, but we can hear them. The science of sound and hearing. The key to the science of sound and hearing is sound waves. Vibrations create sound waves. Sound waves move outward from a vibrating object. So when I'm talking, my sound waves are moving that way. Or if I talk this way, my sound waves are moving that way. Uh, the sound waves can travel through earth, through water, and through air, which is really interesting. Like, have you ever gone underwater in a pool and tried to talk underwater and somebody can hear you talking when they're underwater too? It's kind of how that works. Each sound wave has a frequency. The frequency is determined by how fast an object is vibrating. Some sound waves vibrate quickly. These have high frequencies. High frequency sound waves have high pitches. So let's think of some instruments that we know that make high pitched sounds. It's like a, a recorder would be a good one. Maybe a flute or a piccolo, if you've ever heard of a piccolo. Well, those are some instruments that make high frequency pitches. Some sound vibration or some sound waves vibrate slowly. These have low frequencies. Low frequency sound waves have low pitches. So what are some instruments that we know of that have lower pitches? It could be like a bass drum, a bassoon. What are the big instruments? A timpani? All those kind of things like that. How do ears work? Most people have five senses. One of those senses is hearing. People hear sounds with their ears. Ears help the brain understand sound waves. When a sound wave enters a person's ear, the ear makes it into a signal. The ear then sends this signal to the brain. The brain takes the signal and decides what sound it is. Some sound wave frequencies are so low or so high that human ears can't even hear them. These sound waves do still exist though. I have heard that elephants can make a really, really low, low rumbling noise that humans can't hear but they can hear it and feel it. Hearing history. Throughout the years, many scientists have tried to understand the science of sound and hearing. Early Greek philosophers were among the first people to study sound. Most of them studied sound and hearing so they could understand music. Aristotle was a famous Greek philosopher. He studied around 450 BC. It's a long time ago. Aristotle believed that sound traveled into people's ears through the air. He wasn't wrong, was he? Not really. Since these long ago experiments, many people have studied the science of sound and hearing. They've made many important discoveries about this science. Still, most agree that there is still more to learn about hearing.